Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Hello everybody. You know, over the past years, we've received piles and piles of questions on just about everything you could imagine. From how many years you've been in the first grade <laughs> to how many fish hooks do you own? Hey, we do get some good ones too. And today we'd like to share some of them with you as we fish along. So I'm gonna pick out a few goodies here and we'll see you on the lake with our very first one. Did I show you that fish I caught? <laughs> how you like that? That's a good one. You wanna make a picture? Yes, sir. Come on. Well, he fought me. He's tough. You get it? Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Right. Good to see you. If you were in a tournament and fishing was really tough and you needed only one fish for a limit, what lure would you go to? Well, that's an easy one. I'd go with a black and blue 3 8 ounce Bass Pro Shop enticer jig dressed with a Bass Pro Shop black and blue three and a half inch Swim Elite chunk. Now, this size combination and color is versatile enough that it works any place, any time, in almost any water condition. And I've got so much confidence in this outfit that, well, just about as much as I do in anything that I've got in my boat. Now, speaking of baits, here's another good one. Why do bass strike buzz baits? Yep, buzz baits are quite unique. They possess both triggering and attracting qualities. They're big time attention getters. Yep, attracting qualities are those qualities of a lure that create attention and triggering qualities are those that cause the fish to strike. Every lure must have both of these qualities if it's gonna catch fish. If the lure has only attracting qualities, a fish would only be drawn to it, but never try to hit it. If the lure only had triggering qualities, it wouldn't catch fish because the fish might never notice its presence. I know this bait is constantly on the move and a bass doesn't have a lot of time to size it up. It's something to eat and he reacts to it in a mighty big way. Soft bite thing, you. Woo! That's <laughs> He went, just barely hit it when he hit it. Come on back here where I can get to you. Woo! Pretty fish, too. Yes, sir. All right, that fish just barely tapped it. <laughs> okay, buddy, see you. Doesn't look like it's, we're getting sun, and then we get clouds. What we're using, we're using black and blue. Black holds its identity extremely well, and of course blue, blue light travels the farthest through water. And so this combination works extremely well. And we've got it pegged with a 3 16th ounce weight. And we've got a sinker bobber right here, sinker stop right here to keep it pegged, climbing up over that cover. So it's a good combination. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Sir. Nice one. Let water up my face. I don't care. That is a good bait. That's a nice fish. Yes. Okay, buddy. See ya. Doesn't matter if it's seen it's cloudy or sunny. That sun just keeps going in and out. But that's a good color because it holds its identity real well. It's black and blue. It's a mighty good color. Whoa, that was fun. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I ran into a guy out at Bass Pro Shop. And the first thing out of his mouth was, he said, do you ever go fishing and get skunked? And the first thing out of my mouth was, are you crazy? <laughs> I do that more than I care to remember. Then he asked, what do you do when the fish won't bite? Well, I told him these five things that are really important. First, you must mentally turn a negative into a positive. Second, slow down. By doing this, you'll fish the areas much more carefully and methodically. Third, fish slow moving lures and make several casts to the same area. Fourth, psych yourself into believing that you're gonna find them somewhere. What this does, it helps encourage you to keep trying. Believing projects success. Fifth, make it a fun and productive trip regardless if you catch fish or not. Learn something. Fish some other areas. Look for new spots. Try out that new bait you just purchased. Experiment. Tell you what this does. It'll pay off when you least expect it. Whoa! <laughs> Where are you going? Crazy is where he's going. <laughs> Did you see him blow up there and grab it? He wanted it, didn't he? He wanted that. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, boy. That was fun. Mr. Crazy. Come here, Buster. Chunk it. He liked it though, didn't he? Yes, she did. Healthy too. Pretty little thing. See you around. Whoa! That was a good fight there. He hit that bait as soon as it hit the water. Dropped it in and boom! Mike McClellan designed these G Finesse hybrid hooks. This is a three off finesse gamakatsu wide bend. It's a nice hook. Talking about being skunked. Have I ever been skunked? The nerve of that guy. I'm gonna tell you something, he hadn't been a fast pro shopper out of. I'd have probably, I'd have probably done exactly what I did, tell the truth. <laughs> no one, and I mean no one, catches fish every time they go. No one except uh, 
Mark Zona. Bill, fortunately I heard that, my friend. I, I don't know if I wanted to hear that, but I did hear that. But you are right. Oh, are you ever. You don't catch them every time you go out. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels. Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Lure Lock, turning the tackle world upside down. And Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Lure Lock. Their TackLogic technology locks your terminal tackles safely into place. 100% made in America. Lure Lock, revolutionizing the way you fish. here and here he comes I didn't know I had that fish on yeah I just felt resistance I got a big old fish and a lot of look at that That a big chunky. <laughs> I'm, I got a lot of support up under that, my hands way up under. I'm not holding that fish by his, totally by his bottom jaw. Nice, isn't it? You know what I was just talking about? About not feeling them? Never felt it. The line just got tight and I just pulled up. It got tight and I just felt something just ease down with it. Okay, here's a question concerning your electronics. How much do you depend on your electronics with all your years of fishing experience? Well, I depend on them as much as I do my outboard motor. You get me up the lake 15 miles and a 20 mile an hour headwind. <laughs> Seriously. However, I will say experience is one of the greatest teachers in the world. Experience has taught me over the years how to be versatile, how to adapt to the seasons, how to fish different bodies of water, but with all that experience, my electronics have made my fishing so much easier and so much more productive. My electronics tell me things I never knew. They've definitely made me a much better fisherman. Bottom line, I believe both experience and electronics go hand in hand. I absolutely do. Okay, let me show you the bait that we're catching our bass on today. It's Bass Pro Shops Tube Crawl, and it's a mighty good one, as I said a little bit earlier. I've caught a lot of fish on this particular bait, and one they really, really like. It's four inches long, and the one we're using is, it, the color is a blue bug color. As you can see, this water is kind of funky. It's got a good bloom on it, so we're using a larger bait. And the reason for that is the fish can see it so much better than a smaller bait. In other words, it creates a much bigger image. Now you're probably asking yourself, in this off-colored environment, why in the world would I not be using, say, a big spinner bait, something that's putting out a lot of vibration, or maybe a, a large crankbait, or something that uh, moves a lot of water, something that's creating some type of a sound. Well, there's one good reason. The bass here are very, very inactive. They're not in a chasing mood. And you'll be surprised just how many more fish you can catch if you slow down 
and present slow presentation type baits when they're doing uh, what they're doing today. Yeah, there's a fish right, right there. He's that in that stuff. Coming right out to me. Here to go. Where are you going, rascal? Get out of that stuff. Come up here, buddy. Here we go. That one. Fat little baby. I'm gonna let you go right back in there. Okay? Here we go. Woo! Bill's question and answer of the week is brought to you by Lure Lock. Our durable tackle boxes will protect your prize lures and make organization fun and easy. Lure Lock, revolutionizing the way you fish. How important is boating safety? There's a boatload of truth to the saying. There's no such thing as being too safe. Boating safety is paramount, but since we anglers are in and out of them so much, we may get a little lax and take safety precautions for granted. Now that's dangerous. Visit the U.S. Coast Guard website for safety tips. Always keep safety in mind, as well as the safety of those who share the water. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort, and Motor Guide, Trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. No, that's not an antenna. It's my power pole micro anchor that holds boats or anchors boats up to 17 feet or 1,500 pounds which is perfect for this rig. The all-electric micro drives the spike up to eight feet deep and comes with two remote controls. And since it's made by the good folks at PowerPole, it has the same fast deployment and silent operation and unbelievable holding power. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. going wherever you want to I guess big old strong fish and all that big fat fish too barely hooked Easy. Oh, shake that hit. Woo! Is that a big fat one? Nice one. Yes, you are. Bye bye. Got one here about your monofilament line. How often should you replace the line on your reel? You know, that's probably the number one concern of most anglers. Fortunately, the answer is relatively simple. Naturally, it depends on how much you fish the line. As long as it's stored out of direct sunlight and heat, monofilament line is virtually ageless. 
Now, according to extensive research, monofilament line begins the breakdown process the minute you spool it up and you start fishing. Many things like oil, bug spray, and sunscreen lotion won't damage most lines. But the sun's ultraviolet rays, especially nylon, heat and oxygen accelerate the process. In the case of nylon, mono exposure to sunlight causes loss of tensile and knot strength, stretch, and flexibility. You can usually tell when the sun has taken its toll, when the line becomes brittle or begins to change color. Example, when clear line begins to yellow or colored line fades. There we go. Get out of that cover. Oh, that's a better one. Those my baits. I'll get them in a minute. Come in here, bait. Don't lose my baits. Got a fish on. I'll get my baits. I <laughs> can get my baits and the fish too. Nice one. There's my baits. Got them. Big old fish too. Come here, big old. Whoa, big fat one. Come here, baby. Oh, don't bite me. You like that bait, don't they? Isn't that nice? Pretty fat chunky fish. Okay, let's go bye bye. Some nice fish on a fantastic little bait. <laughs> As always, I surely hope the Q&As we've covered today will provide you some insight. I learned a long time ago that one of the best ways to become a better fisherman is to give other fishermen the third degree at every opportunity. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.